here with Winey Women doing a winery uh, review tonight or uh, blogging about wine. Um, by me no means am I an expert wine reviewer as some people are out there. I just like to talk about wine um, and give you my opinion of the wine and then you can take that for whatever you um, want and move forward and either buy what I suggest or not. So tonight we're going to try. I received a sample of wines. Actually, I, there was 12 of them. And I haven't, I'm getting to these wines slowly and I apologize, but um, Michael Wang Bickler with um, Balzac Communications sent these to me to have me um, talk about them and um, sample them for him. And so I'm very honored to do that. And the one we're going to try tonight is the Chateau Timberlay. It's a 2009. It's a Bordeaux Superior Rouge. And it is, um, hopefully I said all that right. I'm not French, but um, it is a Bordeaux. And so I have like 12 Bordeaux style wines to sample. We are not sampling them all tonight. We are going to sample this one. And it is um, a Merlot Cabernet Sauvignon and Cab Franc blend. So it's 85% Merlot, 20% Cab Franc, and 10% Cabernet Sauvignon, which is kind of weird because I wonder why they put the cab ahead of the cab frunk when the cab frunk has more wine in, in this bottle. So, but here's the bottle right here. This bottle retails for $15. Um, and I'm super excited about this tonight because I'm going to have a big old steak. And I think this is gonna go really well. Um, blackberry and black currant with attractive spice overtones. Um, very soft and fruity character. Um, so I'm excited about this wine. Oh my gosh, it just sounds so yummy. And anything with Cap Franc in it, it's going to win my heart. Um, so I don't know. Oh, mm, it smells juicy and lush. Oh, yeah. You smell those blackberries, black cherries, maybe some vanilla. Oh, it's just a warm, fuzzy smell that you get. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's taste this. And this, uh, the family still lives in the chateau where this is um, made, the Timberlake, Timberlake Champlain, I can't even speak tonight, the Chateau Timberlay. Um, and it's located on the right bank of the Dorgan River. The soil is... In the Chateau Timberlay Vineyards is a combination of clay, limestone, and sand, which is supposed to be really good for growing, according to what it says. They made 600,000 bottles of this wine. <coughs> Excuse me. So you should be able to get it if you'd like to. Mm. Now, I don't think I'm a, I don't think I've tried a lot of Bordeaux's, <clears throat> so I'm not exactly sure what is a good Bordeaux and what's not a good Bordeaux. This one, when it hits the tongue, it's very subdued, and then things start happening on your tongue. This has got good tannins on it. It's, it's a dry it's awesome. That alone makes me love this wine. Um, <clears throat> it, it's, you can tell the, the, the black cherries on it. Oh, and you get that, you get the berry, like, but it's at the end and it's really kind of cool. I like this wine. This is going to go, let me just tell you, if you don't like dry red wines, and you don't like tannins, probably not the wine for you. Because this is gripping my tongue like nobody's business, and I love it. Um, this is a Kim wine, and um, I'm very excited about this wine. So I'm going to enjoy this wine tonight with my steak dinner. So here we go, 2009 Chateau Timberlay. It's a Bordeaux, and it has uh, Merlot, Cab, and Cab Franc in it. So... Um, I will see if I can find where we can get this a stateside and I will let you know. So until next time, cheers.